Hey guys, it's Haley and welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. My name is Haley. I'm so happy to have you. I hope you stick around. In today's video, I want to get a little bit serious because I want to talk about a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. Just kidding. We are talking about a very important topic to me though and that is self-tanning. Self tanning has just become like a way of life for me. I cannot go without it just because I am such a fair skinned, pale, blonde person. I have tried so many different things across all different kinds of spectrums. Mousses, lotions, gels, anything you can think of, I've probably tried it. I just wanted to make a video that kind of just talks about an overview of self tanning, what I do personally, what I found that works best for me, what I like, what I don't like, etc. Make sure you guys are subscribed before you leave and if you are curious to see all my tips tricks insight on self tanning then go ahead and just keep watching I have a more of a drink here today guys <laughs> let's talk about self tanners this is such an important topic to me a I live in a state where it is sunny 364 days out of the year so you have no idea how many times people will come up to me and they say Oh, well, how come you're so pale? How come you're so white if you live in a place where you can just tan all the time? And I'm like, thank you for one, thank you for two. I am so anti-sun, anti-tanning bed. Do not use a tanning bed. Obviously, if you lay out in the sun, like that's your prerogative, that's your choice. In my family, especially with my mom, it is a very high risk of getting skin cancer. So I'm trying to not suscept myself just because I have such a fair complexion. Plus, being out in the sun and doing tanning beds and everything ages your skin a lot faster. I'm not about that life. I'm trying to be as preventative as possible with my skin. The older I get, the more paranoid I am about it. Like I just want to preserve my skin as best as I can and just keep looking as youthful as I can. You know what I'm saying? Another reason why I love self tanning is because if you've done dance cheer, if you've been a part of a professional sports cheer team, anything like that, for my hybrid job as an ice girl, I really enjoy having a tan. Have you ever heard that saying, if you can't tone it, tan it? It's kind of true. I just feel a lot more comfortable with a tan. You know, we wear crop tops along with like fitness and eating, having a tan makes Makes things really nice. Another really big reason why I self tan is because honestly doing makeup when you have some sort of a tan is so much easier than trying to match and find things that work well on fair skin. It's a difficult, it really is. Just finding makeup that looks good on a fair complexion, I haven't been able to nail that down pat. So I'd rather just have a little bit more of a tan and it just makes things so much easier to match foundations, bronzers. So that was a really long explanation as to why I self tan. But you know, there are reasons why I self tan and I have been doing it for at least the past well, I don't even know, five or six years. The type of self tan that works the best for me that I prefer the most is that of a mousse. I love mousse self tanners and I have come across a few that I really do love. These are just four that I had in my drawer. I've gone through so many different kinds, so many bottles. The ones that I find myself reaching for the most are these three right here. The first one is obviously something that you guys have probably heard a lot about, and that is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. I have it in the shade Ultra Dark because I figure if I'm putting a tan on, I'm not trying to play around with medium and dark. Going for the gold here, okay? This is so highly touted about on social media, on YouTube, on Instagram. And so I'm sure this is not a new self tanner to you guys if you um, know anything about self tanners. And it really is an amazing product. I do have pros and cons with this one. I absolutely love the formula of this. They nailed the self tan formula. When you put it on, it's so easy to use. It's not streaky, it's easy to blend in. It dries so fast. And that is the one humongous pro of this self tanner that I appreciate the most is that when you put it on, you know how you feel like really sticky and gross and like you just don't want to have any clothes on, you don't want to go anywhere, you don't even want to go to bed in it. This one dries down the best out of any that I have ever tried. I will usually do this at night, shower, put this on right after, let it dry for maybe like five minutes and it dries down to a very comfortable wear so that I can go to sleep and just leave it on, get up and shower in the next morning. My only reservation about this self tanner is the color. 
it's more of a red toned tan versus that of like a olivey greeny kind of tan. I know that sounds weird, but I think if you have a background of a little bit of tanning, you know what I mean. I almost prefer a more green, very olivey tan. That's my only thing about this one. I just wish that they would make a new kind of undertone in their formula. People talk about this for a reason. It is a really great product and I have been buying this for at least the past three years. This is the Bondi Sands, uh, the Australian tan self tanning dark foam. I love the color of this one. This is a more not orangey but it's a brown olive color which I really appreciate a lot more. I like the undertone of this one better but I don't feel like it lasts as long. Also it doesn't dry down very well. When I initially put this on at night I noticed that it feels more sticky for a longer time than that of the Loving Tan. So that's why I'm saying like each one kind of has pros and cons. This next one is a newer one to me. This is the Bella Mianta Rapid Mousse in the shade Dark and it looks like this. This I was recently turned on to by Chloe Boucher on YouTube. She is like a bronze tan queen goddess. She's always had such a deep dark tan and I'm like, I need to know like all your tanning secrets, please tell me. And she was using this one and she said this was like one of the deepest tans that she was able to get, easy to use. I love how dark this tan is. I'm, I'm still trying it out, but I really, really do enjoy it a lot. Um, I don't think it has quite as great of a dry down as the Loving Tan, but it is another really great option. So I rotate between the three of these guys like all the time. So I'll just keep repurchasing all of them. I love them all for different reasons. Now I'm gonna talk about what I do to actually self tan. Honestly, what everybody will say you need to exfoliate and shave 24 hours before and then just make sure you are very exfoliated, have absolutely no lotion on your body just to allow for the deepest development of your tan when you are doing it. Also, the very best way to apply a tan is with a tanning mitt. There really is no other better way in in my opinion, this works the best. I have one from Ulta and I have one from Vita Liberata. They both work exactly the same. This one's cheaper, obviously, because it's from Ulta. So what I do to start my tanning process is after I've showered, done all my exfoliators, I will not put on any lotion. I put on lotion in certain parts that get the driest the quickest and parts that I don't want the tan to really cling to. So that's gonna be on my hands. I will go and put actually pretty liberally all over my hands and then I will go in and pop it on my elbows, like in between uh, the inside of my arm where my elbow is. And I will also put lotion on my feet, on my knees, anywhere that I feel that it is really dry because tan will really cling to your elbows like really fast. After that, I will just take my tan, I put my mitt on my hand. I do like two to three pumps per limb. So on my arm, I'll probably do like two pumps, pump out two, rub it all into my arm. I won't put clothes on immediately. I'll kind of let myself air dry for a couple minutes. Then I'll just put very, very loose clothes on and then go to bed. I always do it at night for the most part. It's just the easiest way because it allows my tan to develop anywhere between six and eight hours. And I think the longer that you wear these, the deeper the tan you're gonna get. That's always why I suggest doing it at night. Plus you avoid anything like sweating, any outside, any water, anything like that because that will ruin your tan. Another tip that I have just during the week, during your maintenance, always keep your skin super hydrated. Moisturize in the morning, moisturize at night. When your skin gets really dry, it causes it to like flake up and that's what's really gonna start making your tan look patchy. Honestly, my absolute hands down favorite body moisturizer of life and that's the Nivea Extended Moisture Body Lotion 48 Hour. This stuff is just my absolute favorite body moisturizer of all time. It's very affordable. You can get it at any drugstore. It keeps my skin so soft. So this is something that really is a lifesaver with my tan, keeping myself tan, just keeping your skin hydrated and moisturized. I think that covers all the major bases of self tanning that I can think of. I am an avid self tanner. I don't mess around with the sun. I am very fair, very blonde, very Norwegian, very white. These are the products that I really do love a lot. I've been doing this for at least the past I don't even know, 6 years maybe. So I kind of think that I know what I'm doing. I've tested so many different products and these are just tips 
everything that I've learned from trial and error, doing this myself, what works the best for me. So hopefully it was a little bit informative and it will help you guys out if you are new to the tanning scene or even if you are a super veteran. Let me know what your guys' favorite self tanners are. I'm literally always buying new self tanners. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. I would be more than happy to answer them. Hopefully help, maybe. And that's about it. So I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon in my next one. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,